Hi guys, it's Erin and I'm here with a little haul from Joanne.com. Um, I was alerted to a free shipping with no um, no price limit or whatever sale, so I thought I would jump on it. And it turns out they had their Simple Stories stuff for really cheap. So I thought I would go with that. And I used a lot of my Simple Stories I Am paper. Um, you'll probably see process videos of those. So I got the 6x6 pad because... They had it for, I think it was $3 or $2.90 or something like that. It was really cheap. So I thought I would get that. And I got the 6x6 for the Say Cheese 2. I have some of the papers in 12x12, but I like the that the patterns are smaller for this one. And then I got, I'm just going to skip over the stamps for a second. I got the Basics Kit because I still haven't done my Disney World album and I was thinking maybe by adding more simple stories and more you know official Disney colors or whatever I would be more inspired to use them so I got the basics kit and you can see the back is lines and then it comes with this star and bingo card one so that's the basics kit this was five dollars I think it was five dollars Maybe it was four. It was cheap. And this one was only seven dollars. So this is the full kit of all of the papers in there. I mean, you can see them on here, so I don't really need to go through it. I mean, people have probably showed these a lot, but it's got the solid, but it's got all the cut aparts in it. And I thought the cut aparts would be good because I'm doing a lot of the pages with, um, pocket pages so I thought that the cut aparts would be good like I like that and like I said I already have some of these papers so I'm just going to incorporate that in there like the ticket motif I like the tickets so now I can use both sides and I do have 12 by 12 layouts within that album to do so this way I can do both of those so you can pretty much see I like how I say I'm not going to go through the whole thing, and then I end up going through the whole thing anyway. But, yeah, I really like that. I wish it wasn't gold, but I get why it's gold. And that one. So yeah, I just got myself a whole, a whole pack of that to go. I mean, you have a lot of photos, and I still don't know if I've used them all up, and even if I have, I've got, you know, Disneyland right here, so I have a bunch of those to do. And then... These ones I got for like my mixed media journal, my art journal and stuff. I really like the, the, not only the splatters because those are always hard to do where you need them to look the way you want them and they don't ever come out that way. So I thought having stamps of that would be fun. And then the circles I thought would be good to do in like gesso or white paint or something and put it over the top of a, of a very busy background. So I got those. Um, these ones I got just flipping through. I, I, love butterflies so I can never have enough I mean I have a tattoo of a butterfly so which is actually a stamp you know he's a very old stamp but he's a stamp so I thought that the variety of the butterflies are really nice I've never heard of joy crafts um, I literally just looked through everything that Joanne's had so it's all in German it looks like maybe that's I don't know this is German I think so when English is the third one, they're probably imports. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, whatever language that is. It might be Norwegian for all I know. Um, and then these ones for are from Hot Off the Press. I didn't even know Hot Off the Press still existed. But I thought it was a great way to get a variety of feather stamps since I don't have any. And sometimes there's things that you can't do unless the feather is a stamp or unless you draw it. So, I got those. So yeah, that's a that's a quick small haul, which is better than my usual gigantic hauls. So, all right, thank you for watching. Bye bye.